The plan is to turn Palestine into a historical footnote, so it's too late to save it. The Zionist plan for the Palestinians is to kill them and drive them off their land by whatever cruelty is necessary, with the understanding that one day people will look back on it the same way they look back on the genocides of other indigenous populations, saying, yeah, it was bad, but that was in the past, so there's nothing we can do about it. The Zionists take a long view of history, understanding that all the outrage and backlash they're facing over Gaza right now will one day be irrelevant if they can carry out their plan for the territory today. They know that future generations of Israeli settlers will be able to say, sure, there was an ethnic cleansing in Gaza and a bunch of mass atrocities were committed, but that all happened before I was born. I had nothing to do with it. What do you want me to do? Give up the home I've lived in all my life? That's nuts. And they're absolutely right. If Israel succeeds in driving the Palestinians out of Gaza, and assuming humanity doesn't destroy itself via nuclear Armageddon or environmental collapse, that is exactly the future they can expect to have. The genocidal atrocities against the Palestinians will be something kids learn about in history class. Israel itself might even be able to be a lot more honest about what happened once the Palestinian problem has been fully resolved and the threat of a Palestinian state no longer exists. So they do what they need to do in the meantime, with the understanding that this will one day all be rubbed away by the sands of time. They commit what atrocities they need to commit, they lie in whatever ways they need to lie, and they exert influence wherever they need to exert influence until they can get this thing locked down. Once they have, they can sit back and let old father time do the rest of the work for them. That's why it's so important to oppose this thing now, because once Palestine is erased, it's highly unlikely that it can ever be restored. We see what an uphill battle it is to obtain any rights at all for indigenous populations and other nations founded on genocidal settler colonialism, and they haven't even been driven out of their national borders into foreign countries. The sins of the present and the recent past are much, much easier to correct than the sins of the distant past. That's why the Zionists are so keen to move these atrocities into the sins of the distant past category.